This is the circuit that I came up with for turning on automatically by the sun. Pretty much any device you want. And here is the photo transistor. It's really hard to see because it's clear plastic and a small couple of wires coming out. So what we're doing here is we are taking the output from the collector. And that output goes to an IGBT. And then I've got a output from the collector again. That goes to another IGBT, which uh, provides a 180 degree phase shift and produces the results that we want. In other words, when the light hits the phototransistor, the relay is activated. And here's a video demonstration of that. This is the same setup as the last video. I have not changed anything. And it's, I got power on this, so it's still working. A YouTube friend of mine suggested that you might be able to use just one IGBT instead of two. And I thought, well, that sounds like a pretty good idea. And what the idea is, is on this photo transistor here, rather than take the output from the collector, we take the output from the emitter. So we take these two resistors, put them down here, and put the phototransistor up here. So I'm going to rearrange this circuit and we'll see what happens. A YouTube friend of mine made a suggestion that I change the circuit by swapping the 10K resistors and the phototransistor. And what he's talking about is this setup here. You can see that the resistors are on the bottom now, and the phototransistor is now up here. Still pretty difficult to see. But here is the wiring diagram. And as you can see, it's a simpler circuit. But this time, we are now taking the output from the emitter of this phototransistor right here. And that causes a 180 degrees phase shift. So now, when I shine the flashlight on it, we get the results we want. The relay operates. And here's a demonstration of that. Okay, I have made the change. This relay is now connected to this IGBT, and there's just one. Uh, the other one's just over here stored for right now. And the phototransistor is connected directly to positive. And the other lead is going to our gate. And then we have our 10K and our variable 10K right here. And it works. I've got this on least sensitive right now. And that little buzzing again. That's from the fluorescent lights. Okay, now I can hold the light like this and make this a little more sensitive. You can hear it buzzing. There we go.
and least sensitive. more sensitive so that was a very good suggestion and it gives me a chance to talk about phase shift and we are taking the output from the emitter of this phototransistor and between the collector and emitter there'll be a 180 degrees phase shift which flip-flops the way the circuit works so let me turn off the lights again that way we won't get the fluorescent light I'll make this more sensitive So, very good suggestion. Either one will work uh, very well. Let's see. Let me get both lights on here. And uh, a few less parts if you're worried about that but uh, these things are so cheap nowadays it uh, doesn't matter with two it may latch uh, a little harder because you have got two stages like an audio uh, it would amplify the effect a little bit but uh, if all you're wanting is on off which is what we want here this certainly will work just fine do, 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 do. yep that'll work very nicely too And now I turn the power off, no change. And that's what we want. Power's back on. And if we had a power failure, day or night, the relay's off. And that's what we want. So this little circuit fits both of what I wanted. Pretty neat. This is a nice little circuit and I like it. Works quite well. And thanks for watching.